Chuck Wagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for another great video here on Chuck Wagon MTG. We got a lot of stuff to cover today. Um, one thing, last week we kind of forgot to do the uh, random comment giveaway thing for a pack, so we're going to be giving away more than a few packs uh, here in this video today as kind of a you know, sorry I forgot type deal, um, but we're going to get to that in a minute. Um, something you may have noticed uh, right off the bat is uh, our channel has a new look. We have a new logo. Um, this is just one of the several things we're going to be implementing here in the next month. Uh, some things we have uh, feel that we've improved uh, in the channel. Uh, we really hope you enjoy it. Uh, we think it's going to be for the better. Uh, and we thank you for being here on this journey as we grow as a channel. Um, something else uh, we have coming up is we have a new set coming out. We got return to return to return to return. Return to Return to Ravnica? I think that's where it's at right now. No, I'm kidding. Um, we got Guilds of Ravnica coming out. Uh, the pre-release is the 29th and 30th of, uh, of this month. So, I mean, I always love new sets. More stuff for us to open. I love pre-releases. And per usual fashion, BC Comics and Games, that's where I'm going to be playing my pre-release. Um, and if you happen to go there... On the 29th, that is going to be the main event on Saturday, there's going to be a bounty placed on my head. So if you show up at BC Comics and Games in Howell to play pre-release during the main event, and you beat me, you're going to get a pack of cards just for doing so. Uh, just to clarify that it only counts in beating me in a game of Magic, it does not count in beating me in the parking lot or anywhere else. So just to clarify that, get that out of the way. Um, so yeah, I hope to see as many of you beautiful people as possible. Um, they really do put on a good spread for all the pre-releases. It's an absolute blast. Speaking of pre-release, uh, also in normal fashion, they have been generous enough to give us another entry into pre-release for free for one of our lucky viewers. Now, the only requirements for you to enter into this contest is A, you have to be subscribed to the channel, and B, you have to comment down below, down below this video, I want to play at BC. That's it. Those two things. Once you comment and you subscribe to the channel, uh, we're going to go ahead and be put into a contest. And then that Thursday before pre-release, we're going to go ahead and announce the winner. And whoever that winner is, you're going to get to go to the pre-release event of your choice at BC Comics and Games absolutely free. It's going to be nuts. It's going to be wonderful. Um, I can't wait to see all you beautiful people there. It's going to be absolutely great. Um, let's see. What else do we have? Oh, the... Uh, We've had a lot of requests in the last week, week and a half, um, about trading with our Pack to Power. So what we've decided to do is, uh, and in the description of this video and for the rest of the uh, Pack to Power A Cure videos, which is the new name of that series, um, we're going to have a link down in the description of, uh, like I said, this video and future videos pertaining to that. Uh, that's going to go to our deckbox.org uh, list of what we have in the binder. Now, please keep in mind that uh, gauging by the interest that has been shown so far, that list is going to be changing constantly. I will do my absolute best to keep it updated, but there may be something that uh, you see in there you want to trade for. By the time you get to me, it may not be available. So, But I will do my best to keep it as updated as possible. I do want to thank everyone for the extreme support we have seen ab about this. Um, it's been it's been really nice to see this much kind of outpouring uh, of the community to help such a good cause. It's, it's, it's going to be fun and fun. It really is. Um, let's see. Uh, I think that's about it as for news type stuff. Now let's start getting to uh, where we screwed up, I screwed up, and forgot to give away packs for comments. So what we got here is we have got a box of, of Core 19. Yeah, Core 19. Got a box of Dominaria too. So we are going to go over to that site that uh, y'all know how much I absolutely love. We'll decide. It's just, I love it. I love that site. So if you go over here, you're going to see that we have everybody's name put into the wheel here. 
And then what we're going to do is instead of going and rolling some dice, just because we're going to do this a little bit differently, uh, we're just going to click the wheel four times. Whoever comes up, you're going to win some packs of Core Night or a pack of Core 19 and a pack of Dominaria. Um, but don't leave just quite yet after we pick this because we're picking more than one person for this. But for the first one, let's go ahead and see what we have. One, two, three, and four. Alrighty. And our winner for this one is Cyberpunk 316. Alright, well, tell you what, we're going to go ahead and open this. These are, because these are brand new boxes. Uh, the Dominaria is one that I actually picked up at GP Detroit. Got it off the prize wall. So, let's go ahead and see. We'll grab you the first pack out of the middle here of the Core 19. And... Get this Dominaria box opened up. Oh, just knock some stuff around. Okay, so we'll get this. We'll grab you the center pack out of here as well. All righty. Let's see what you get in these packs. <laughs> I should probably turn the camera on. That might help. So, yeah, we've got uh, Core 19, Dominaria. I apologize for that, folks. I, uh, <laughs> I didn't realize I didn't have that camera on. So anyways, you're going to get the rares and good stuff out of this. Uh, anything good in here? I think the only thing good is Rat Colony. Which we didn't get. Okay, so. We got ourselves a Song of the Frailies uh, on Sierra's Wings. Yogmoth's Vile Offering is a rare. That means we got... Uh, that's right, we got the legendary in the back here. We got a Quendi, Pride of Femerev. All right, so that's your Dominaria pack. Let's see what you got for Core 19. And like I said, we're doing multiple packs today. It's kind of a, like I said, I'm sorry for forgetting to do this for like a week and a half. So uh, there is absolutely nothing of value in the uh, common slot there. So we got ourselves a... Camera that's out of focus. There we go. We got ourselves a lightning mare. Ooh, Militia Bugler. Mirror image and an alpine moon. All right. Well, I am going to go ahead and take these here. Um, I think Bugler is actually something. And I don't, I don't think anything else is. I mean, if there's another card in there that you, that you want, please let me know. Uh, and we can go ahead and, and work it out. I can ship up to four cards safely uh, and still not have it uh, you know, be cost prohibitive. So, all right. So we're going to go ahead and write your name there. All right. So we got Cyberpunk. 16. Okay. That way we don't get them all mixed up with the other cards we're going to be doing. All right. So now we are continuing. Uh, we're going to go ahead over to here and we are going to remove the cyberpunk name from this one, from this one, and from this one. That way we're giving everyone else a, a chance to play. I'm going to apply the wheel changes, and we're going to do it again. One, two, three, and four. Good luck to everybody. Next person up is going to be Eric Williamson. You are the winner. The next winner. And the price is right. No, the price is right. So, all right, I'll see what you get in your Dominaria pack. All right, anything good? Like I said, uh, rats is essentially the uh, only thing of even remote value, and we didn't see it. We got a Fire Fist Adept Thorn Elemental. Oh, oh, Phyrexian Scriptures. You know, this one, I still love the hell out of it. All right, then you got a Tiana Ship's Caretaker. So nothing really good there, but at least you got a Mythic out of that. We'll go ahead and see what you got in 19. If I can get this pack open, there we go. All right, yeah, there is nothing in here that's actually of value in common, so we're going to go ahead and just skip to the good stuff. We got Leonin Vanguard, Skyrider Patrol, Gutter Snipe, and an Elvish Clan Caller. That's not too shabby. Um, let's see here. We got 
We'll go with clan collar or that gutter snipe. We'll do that. Uh, if there's any of those other cards you would rather have instead, uh, or I guess in addition, uh, let me know. But like I said, we essentially have to keep it down to, to four cards uh, because we can ship on the cheap that way. Eric Williamson. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and close this one out. We're going to go ahead and remove Eric from these lists. Where is... Oh, he's number one on the list. Right there. And right there. Okay, now we're going to the next one. We should probably update this list. Okay, now we are ready to go. Good luck to, uh, to all of you for this next one. We got one, two, three, and four. Who do we got next? Who do we got next? We got MTG Biker Boy. That's who we got. Let's grab another pack. Let's grab another pack. Let's see what good stuff we can bust out of here. Uh, so we're looking for rats. And it's looking like no. Okay, no rats. Put these off to the side. Get focus again. Nature's Spiral. Uh, the Flame of Keld. Karn's Temporal Sundering. And a Garna the Blood Flame. Well, I mean, at least you got that. Uh, the uh, much worse <laughs> version of uh, Fate. Uh, uh, Nexus of Fate. Um, we built a deck that was running these instead of the Nexuses just to kind of make it cheaper. And then it's just... It's not even comparable. It really isn't. So, alright, skip past this stuff because it's not worth anything. We got Ravenous Harpy, uh, Vigilant Bayloth, Sift, and a Liliana's Contract. Alright, uh, man, that's... I don't think there was anything really good in there. We'll go ahead and do that right there. Um, like I said, once again, if there's something else you'd rather have out of that, shoot me a message, let me know. And we got Okay, I apologize for the handwriting two people. Believe it or not, this right here is after two and a half like two and a half, three years of calligraphy courses when I was younger, uh, because my handwriting was just so god awful. It really was. Okay, so we're gonna remove MTG Biker Boy out of this. We're gonna update the wheel. And we're going to do it again. Good luck to everybody. We got once, twice, thrice, and four. Congratulations to Garrett. Garrett Dick, you are the winner of this last one we got going here. Let's see what you get, sir. Essentially, and just so y'all know, the names are on this list. This is anyone who commented on any video that we had in uh, in the last week. So, I mean, there's an opt, and it's not worth anything, but hey, there's a rat colony. Not a bad pack. Okay. Now to the good stuff. We got Time of Ice. We got Wizard's Lightning. This is not a bad pack at all. Settle the Score. And a Jota Archmage Eternal. Man. It's a solid pack. Um, yeah, so let me know what you want out of this stuff. I'm assuming that's going to be the mix right there. I could be wrong. But, uh, Garrett, please let me know. Oh, you know, I should probably open up this other pack I pulled out for you. Derp. Um, I said nothing in here. Four commons, unfortunately. We got a Johnny's Welcome. Knightly Valor, that's not a bad card. Gargoyle Sentinel, and hey, we got an Omniscience for Mr. Garrett. Rock on. Well, I think that's going to change up our packs now. Um, I'm assuming Omniscience is in that I want pile. So, um, we'll assume it's like that. Yeah. All right, Garrett. Um, and this is, goes out to everyone. Please remember, you must 
get a hold of us. Okay, you gotta, you gotta tell us where we're sending these cards to, because um, if you don't get a hold of us, we don't know where to send them to. We only hold cards uh, for 30 days. So, yeah. All right. Now, let's open some more stuff. Um, we've got a Patreon Build-A-Pack box that could use some more good stuff. So let's see if there's anything good in here. Um, essentially, Rat Colony, if we pull it, will go into the uh, the common slot. Uh, Wizards Retort, don't think so. Settle the score. Siege Gang and... Oh, Siege Gang. Derp. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't think that's really worth anything. I will double-check all this stuff as we go. Um, just to, you know, make sure. If there's anything of value, it will go into the box. But uh, essentially, I'm just looking to put some extra value because we've seen a little up, uptick in people wanting to do the uh, our Patreon Build-A-Pack box. So I want to make sure there's good stuff in there. Oh, we got a foil, I believe. We got Sarah Angel, Fire Fist Adept, uh, Zalfren Void, a foil Keldon Raider, and we got a Na Nahru Meha Master Wizard. That's probably going to go in there. Uh, you know, we're, we're just going to keep all this stuff together. I will go through this stack um, just to make sure that we that everything is of decent value uh, before it goes in. I don't want to put in just garbage. But anything good, essentially rats. Come on, rats. No rats. All right. We got a Sheener's Torment Juggernaut. Urza's Ruinous Blast, and then uh, the Cinderwind guy. All right. We'll do one more of uh, Dominaria to see if we can pull something good for our, our patrons. Uh, I'm also doing my best to not let this thing run over too long because uh, I hate putting out videos that are, like, super long. Uh, let's see, we got Fungal Plots. We got Dampening Sphere. Okay, that's going in there. Rite of Bells and Lock. That's not too shabby. And Yargle. Okay. Sweet. Uh, tell you, let's crack open some 19 and see if we can, can't get anything in there. I said, just trying to add value for our patrons. And if you don't know about our patron, Patreon, uh, go ahead and down in the description, we've got a link to our Patreon account. Um, essentially everything, I mean, it starts down at a buck, but for four bucks you get a standard booster pack plus a, uh, foil basic. Um, it's good stuff. Fun to be had by all. Uh, oh, sword. Uh, useless outside of limited, but in limited, that is so gross. Give my guy vigilance. Give it plus two plus oh. Oh, and I'm going to spit out another guy every turn. That also has vigilance. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right. Nightmare's Thirst, Gutter Snipe, Enigma Drake, and <laughs> Nicobolas the Ravager. Okay, well, so we got a Nicobolas going into the uh, Patreon Build-A-Pack box now. And we got a Foil Stone Quarry. Sweet. Well, our Build-A-Pack box just got more expensive. But we're not done. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. Stitcher Supplier, that's not a bad one to have in there. Inferno Hellion, Lightning Strike, and Leonin War Leader. That's going in there. Um, I think that's still worth something. I'm pretty sure it is. All right. Come on, value train for Patreon Build a Pack Box. We got Druid of Horns, we got Make a Stand, Departed Deckhand, and Demon of Catastrophes. I want this card to be good. I really, really do. It's not a bad card. It is not a bad card at all. I just, it hasn't found its home yet. Um, it will. We're going to do one more. One more. I promise this is it. All right, we got Leonin Vanguard. We got Bone to Ash, we got Sift, and we got a Sarkon. <laughs> oh, another Walker going into the box, and a Foil Child of Night. So yeah, our Patreon Build-A-Pack box just got uh, better. It got better. Yeah, it did. It really did. Holy cats. So, 
just to recap, <laughs> um, our Patreon build the pack box uh, now has a it's got a Sarkon in there. Uh, where was where's the other guy? There it is, and a Nicobolas going into it, along with some other stuff. I mean, there wasn't, you know, there's some decent stuff in here, nothing great, but, uh, like I said, I will look through this, just double check and make sure, but that right there is some added value. So, it's good to be a patron. And keep in mind, right now we're at seven patrons. Once we hit ten patrons, we're going to have patron only giveaways with um uh, we got deck boxes uh sleeves we've got uh play mats we got a whole bunch of stuff we're gonna be throwing into the mix so yeah that was fun that was uh that was fun uh, i'm digging this here um once again sorry about forgetting uh you know the the comment giveaway uh, from last week that was that was my bad uh, so but hopefully we made up for it tonight uh, those of you who won please don't forget to win you have to actually be subscribed and then you got to get a hold of us if you don't get a hold of us we don't know where to send it I mean we could mail it to a random address but the chance of it actually getting to you is like astronomically small so just putting that out there anyways I want to thank you all for watching if you like what you saw here today do us a huge favor click that like button hit subscribe be sure to hit that bell notification button and then share this with your friends your family your loved ones and your pets everyone could use a little more magic in their lives once again thank you very much for watching and as always you can find us on Facebook Twitter and Twitch Chuckwagon MTG now if you could do us one last favor and check out this brief message about our sponsor Chuckwagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games, now at one mega location to fill all of your gaming and comic needs. They have Magic the Gathering events every night of the week, as well as Warhammer, Pathfinder, Dungeons and Dragons Adventures League, Final Fantasy TCG, Pokemon, and Star Wars X-Wing events all throughout the week. They also have close to 100,000 comics on site. This is why I have personally made BC Comics and Games my home gaming store.